Welcome and I'm going to show you something really great for in particular small business networks which is called Aruba Instant On. It has been announced a couple of months ago but I want to show you now how you can very easily in more or less one, two, three steps set up a network for your small business. The first thing you do is making sure you power up your Aruba Instant On access point. The second thing is you download the Instant On mobile app to your phone. The third step is you follow the steps, very easy, to configure your networks and other settings. If you want to get some more information, you go to the www.arubainstanton.com network and you will get to this landing page. You can see that there is a whole suite of access points for your particular use models. There is a desk wall access point, there is a low up to high ethics point, including also outdoor access points. If you immediately want to dive into a specific product, you go to products, you select, for example, indoor, and here's where you can see all the information that are available on this particular access point, including some very more in-depth data sheet with performance and maximum data rates, etc. If you want to get some, some how-to and get more information how things are working, you click how it works, you can watch the getting started video or see some other information. You can click on support for finding out how you can get additional support when you run the product. Here you go. And if you want to go to the community, the first thing we're going to do is to power up the access point. We have an AP11D access point. The way we can power that is either by using a power over Ethernet switch so that switch then is delivering the power over the Ethernet cable to the access point, which is very convenient because you don't need any additional cabling or power. If you don't have a power over Ethernet switch, you can use the delivered power adapter with it. And then the power adapter, uh, you can plug into the power, you plug the power into the AP, and of course you still need an Ethernet cable to the switch in order to get an IP address and to be able to connect to the Internet. Okay. Let's power up the AP and see what's happening. There we go. In my case, I'm going to connect the access point to a switch that provides PoE power. So the only thing that I need to do is connect the cable to the E0 port into this access point. So let's get the access point and connect the cable in there. And now it will start to boot. Give it a couple of seconds and there you see it start to flash the yellow light. So meaning it will start up the process of booting up this particular access point. We now need to wait until the access point flashing amber and green. But I have to be honest to you that amber is a little bit reddish. I will show you a little bit a closer look when the access point is at that particular stage. But let's leave the access point booting for now. And in the meantime, let's set up our phone to install the Aruba Ensign On application. Okay, let's move to the App Store. Let's search for the Aruba Instant On. There we go. You can see we need to download now. After download, we can open the app and need to make sure that we can register our account. So let's open the app. You got a couple of questions, answer them with OK, and now you can create an account. Press create an account. OK, I'm going to give my username and password in here. Let's do the username, that will be my email. That's tobias.vending at gmail.com. OK, let's move on to the password. Make sure you accept the terms and conditions, create the account. Now you will get an email. You need to accept that email and then you are access to the instant on. Now let's have a look at the access point and you can see it is flashing amber and green. Although I have to say it is a little bit of reddish. So keep that in mind. Otherwise you maybe get confused. So now we have this all running. Let's move back to the app. So the first thing we do is set up a new site. 
And here you provide your network. So that's the network where you want your users to be Wi-Fi connected to. So let's call this one ABCN Instant On. You also need to give it a certain password to secure this particular network. Okay, and then we move on and we'll start to see automatically if there's new devices to be added. So it will start searching for devices into your surrounding. Hey, this is our access point we have been setting up. So let's add the device and activate the site. There we go. That's it. The network is now up and running. Let's for the last time go back to the access point because now we should have two LEDs. And you can see both LEDs are blinking solid green. Now the network is up and running and you can start being able to connect to it. You can go through some of the settings in the app, but we will explain most of these things in another video to provide you more details. Let's see if we can find the network in our telephone to start being able to connect to it. Let's move to the settings, select Wi-Fi, and there you can see Aruba Instant on all up and running. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked it. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.